In my hand are the names of three delegates who still have a chance to be crowned Miss Universe 99. In random order, Spain! Filling the third and final spot, Botswana! The final three delegates have just one more question to answer. It's the big one that's going to give the judges one last chance to decide which woman deserves to be Miss Universe. Each will be asked the same question. So to make it fair, I'm going to ask Philippines and Botswana to please go over to the listening booth over there, please. We're going to put headphones on you so to make sure that you can't hear the question. Would you come with me, please, Spain? Okay. Can you hear me? All right, Spain, here is your question. If Miss Universe were to become pregnant during a reign, should she be allowed to continue as Miss Universe? Si Miss Universo quedara encinta durante su reinado, se le debería de permitir que siguiera de Miss Universo. Yo creo que sí, no tendría por qué ni ningún problema. Su cabeza sigue estando aquí, ¿no? Aunque tenga en un nacimiento por, por traer al mundo, siempre y cuando no le dificulte sus facultades pues para, para viajar, pero de momento no encuentro solución. I don't see why not, because her head would still be the same. The only difference is that she would be bringing someone into the world. The only thing is if it were to uh, in some way keep her from her travels, well. Thank you very much. Spain. Stay right there. Philippines. If, if Miss Universe were to become pregnant during her reign, should she be allowed to continue as Miss Universe? That's a very difficult uh, situation to be in. And um, I believe that the Miss Universe, if ever she becomes pregnant. I believe that she should continue with her reign if she has been a good example to be a Miss Universe. She has pursued all the, all the goals that she, has, she had in the first place, and I believe that she should continue. Thank you. Philippines. <laughs> Baswana. Your question is, if Miss Universe were to become pregnant during her reign, should she be allowed to continue as Miss Universe? Personally, I think Miss Universe is a symbol of a woman as well. She's celebrating her femininity. And I believe that, thank you. And I believe that if she should fall pregnant, it will not in any way interrupt her duties. I believe that as a woman, she should celebrate her femininity. Thank you. Ladies, one big smile, the judge's final view. Once again, our three finalists, Spain. Jimmy, I love Spain from the beginning. She's beautiful, she's smart. She answered that question. She did, but she confidence. paused and she said, well, I think she might have taken the easy way out by not finishing her answer. I'm not sure, though. You're right. You know what? You're right about that. Philippines. Well, I, I, I thought this girl had it. She clammed up. She really clammed up. Uh, it's a shame, really. Exactly. She definitely choked. Baswana. Well, the crowd loves this girl. Listen to the crowd, and there you go.
you have it. You know, if it goes on the question alone, this girl's got it. Right, but there are other things that are involved. Yes. But man, she told it like it was. Exactly. She, she was very and honest and direct. You know, the judges will consider all questions of the competition. And we'll be back to crown Miss Universe. Don't you move a muscle. Welcome back. Before we crown Miss Universe 99, let's say goodbye to Miss Universe 98, who's not only blessed the organization, but her country with dignity and grace. Wendy Fitzwilliams hopes to pass her bar, or bar exam, excuse me, practice law, be a model and a singer, and yes, she does occasionally sleep. So, as thanks to the Miss Universe organization for helping her toward her goals, Wendy takes her final walk to her very own recording. Congratulations, Wendy, and may your life be as beautiful as your reign. And now, the reason why we're all here, thanks to Mark Ward of the accounting firm Ernst & Young, who has verified the final tally. We'll begin with the second runner-up, a winner of a cash scholarship from Oscar de Lorenzo Swimwear. Second runner-up is Spain. If for any reason the winner cannot fulfill her duties, the first runner-up takes over. Tonight, the first runner-up and winner of a cash scholarship from Oscar de la Renta Swimwear is Philippines, the 1999 Miss Universe Botswana. This evening started, you were one in 84, now you're one in a million. Take your walk. That's it from Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you from the Caribbean Hospitality. We have had a wonderful time, and don't forget to watch the Miss Teen USA pageant from Shreveport, Bossier, Louisiana. That's August 24th, right here on CBS. Julio Iglesias Jr., David Rudder, the fan players, all our dancers, and the wonderful folks at Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you. Good night. Transportation provided by BWIA, the best West Indian airline.